Hello everyone, this is Ranger Rob, and this is actually a first of a big series of uh, what we call the PPP program, which is Prep, Preserve, and Produce. And each one has its own issue altogether. And our videos now on, on this particular playlist is designed for new people. And we're hoping there's a lot of new people that are starting to awaken. And what I mean by awaken is, uh, it's no doubt 2020, and as we're going to 2021, that the world, is, the world is changing. There's things like the big reset and financial problems, food shortages, things like that. A lot of people laid off, money short. And uh, it's coming down to is this great reset, all these things coming to, I truly believe is the awakening is going to be that we need to take a step back not forward yes technology and things like that will definitely advance and we'll use some of those tools but what we need to go back to is learning how to do things to be more self-sufficient and so that's what this program is all about and i think there's a lot of new people doing that now some people are advanced way more advanced than i am and I will be the first one to tell you that I'm going to call myself a beginner. Um, but I'm a beginner that's taking action. And that's what I'm hoping you're going to do. Now, I don't care if you have a five-acre place. I don't care if you have a one-acre place. I don't care if you have a lot outside of the city. There's a lot of things we can do. But today, I want to talk about soil. Because I have quite a challenge with my soil. This is going to be our 25 by 25 foot garden. Plus a new little section here too. And as you can see, I live in Central Oregon. And of course I want to sneeze. Anyway, uh, and our soil is sandy, very sandy. Now this soil, um, let me get down here a little bit. As has been amended once, but it's not enough. Let me show you. It's getting a little darker, and I did put uh, compost into this. I brought five yards in, and I did blend it, but it's not enough. It's uh, that's what uh, my soil right there. And this, let me just move over. You can see is lighter. Is uh. Because it's a little wet, it looks darker, but it's very sandy. So, my, I want to learn permaculture. I want to embrace my animals. I don't have all the animals I want yet. So, I'm going to turn this soil again when I add another 10 yards of compost to it. I'll bring a truck in and I'll order it that way. Why am I doing that? Because my soil is poor. And, but I can make it better. And so what I want to talk about is what I'm learning is it's one thing to grow stuff. Sorry about that. It's one thing to grow things. Ah, and one thing to get older. And it's another to take care of the soil so it'll always take care of me. So you can see even during its winter time here, it's December, there's not a thing growing here. There's no weeds. There's no nothing. Now, I'm kind of glad I don't have the weeds, but that also tells me uh, I don't have a very active ground. So this is going to be an important year. I'm going to need to get this soil amended. And then I need to turn it. But I don't want to... I want to learn no-till gardening. But I'm going to have to uh, work on this soil to make it better. But once I take it up to the next level, I, I need to keep it there and I need it to be even better. So I'm expecting my first year to be okay, but I'm expecting my second year to be the best. Why? One is I have my seeds already. I ordered them months ago. And uh, what grows the strongest are some of the things I'm going to give. I'm going to take the seeds from them. Because seeds, I've been told, learn. Seeds will pass on the knowledge of how to grow in this region, in this soil. 
So I've got a lot to do to get my gardens ready for next year. The other thing with amending my soil is not only am I going to bring compost in, I'm creating my own compost. Not only do my little girls here are going to produce eggs for me, they produce a lot of poop. And that's what this was all about, our compost bins. So as we clean our, uh, their uh, cages out, their poop is getting mixed in here, something fierce, along with their hay, along with scraps and things we've done in the yard as we clean it. And uh, it's breaking down really well. Now this batch here will probably be ready for next year, next spring. This one's a little bit farther back. But the other thing we're going to add to this, and it's not here yet. That's what I'm telling you. We're beginners. We're new. We're adding rabbits. So probably over here, we're not, I could change, but we're not interested in, in uh, butchering rabbits. But that could change if the food situation gets worse. So uh, we'll probably get more of a, oh, a show rabbit. But it's not what I want about the rabbits. It's what they poop. That magical pellet that they make is one is it can go into a garden right away. It's not hot like chicken manure. Chicken manure, you need to break down and let it, um, it's pretty acidy. And uh, it's, it's hard on the garden until it's got some breakdown to do. But rabbit, oh no. So wherever we put this hutch, our hutches, we'll probably get a couple, and we're gonna get some bucks too. We're gonna breed them. And we're gonna take those magical pellets and make sure we can harvest them easily uh, before the dogs do. <laughs> and it will contribute to uh, my son's in the wrong spot here to our garden. So some of the things I'm going to do to amend this soil will be bringing in a truckload of compost, continuously adding compost from my own creation and using the manure from the chickens and manures from the future uh, rabbits to make this an outstanding garden. Now this garden could grow bigger. Uh, we are also looking at starting to use some of the uh, grass area over there that we have so much grass it's not even funny that maybe we can actually let our animals uh, be on the ground and actually rotate them through the grass in that area to one make my grass grow better and to uh, uh, let them eat uh, more natural foods and bugs and stuff. So that's the first thing I wanted to cover in my first series of the PPP program and today was soil. And I've got a lot to learn and as I learn it and as I amend this, I'll be sharing that with you in the comments below. Love to hear, are you new at prepping and, 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 and preserving food? and producing food uh, are you are you starting to move that direction and it doesn't have to be hardcore this is a this is a lot to take on but uh, you can do a lot in just an acre or a half an acre even a lot and the reason I can say that is I've, I've done it and so uh, you can do it too and do realize there's a lot of us that are new at it but we're all waking up going we need to be more self-sufficient we need to quit going to the grocery store so much. We need to be able to take care of ourselves. Because it might just get down to that. And if I'm wrong, no harm done. <laughs> I'm getting quality food, quality meat, quality eggs. I know where my food comes from. So uh, I hope this was a good start. I hope you enjoy the series. Please leave your name, oh not name, but your comments below. Uh, please like, share our videos, and uh, tell everybody what we're doing, and uh, share in the dialogue. We appreciate that. So guys, have a great day. I'm Ranger Rob. Until next time, bye now. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.